Hey, what's up guys? My name is Vera and I welcome you all to yet another video of Learn Space Tutorials. Now in this video, we are going to discuss the top 5 frameworks of Python that are going to be vital in 2019. Now we know that Python supports a wide variety of frameworks full stack or non full stack. So we have divided this video in two parts where first we are going to discuss about the frameworks that are going to be used for the full stack developers and the second part of this video is going to cover the frameworks that are going to be used for non full stack purposes. So without wasting any second, let's roll the clip. Number one, Django. Now most of you don't know that Django was developed by Django Software Foundation and it was officially released in 2005. The beauty of Django is that it helps developers create complex code and applications in an easier way. So it follows the principle of drive. Do not repeat yourself. So if you're going to create an application, well, that's my word that you're gonna spend less time on Django as compared to other frameworks because Django is fast, it's quick, and it's learnable. The real world examples of Django is Instagram, Pinterest, Mozilla, and the Washington Post recently. So you are on the right track if you're using Django. Number two, Web2Pi. Again, Web2Pi is a cross-platform web application that is helping all the web developers out there to create awesome applications. It is open source and it has been officially released in 2007. The best part of Web2Pi framework is that it comes with a code editor that lets you debug the code anytime you want. So if I have to say that Web2Pi is famous for what? Well, it's famous for debugging code and of course, testing and maintaining applications. Number three, Turbo Gears. Now Turbo Gear is yet another Python's full stack web application framework with which you can easily develop applications that require database connectivity. Now those were the full stack frameworks of Python. Now let's just talk about the non full stack frameworks that are being used in Python. Number four, Bottle. Now Bottle is an easy to use lightweight framework that lets you build applications that are on small level. So if I have to call it a micro framework of Python, then it wouldn't be wrong. Number five, Scenic, or some people call it Sanic, is an easy, faster Python micro framework. Now the beauty of Scenic is that it is much faster than other micro frameworks present in Python. So that actually gives Scenic a little edge over other micro frameworks in Python. It was recorded that Scenic has the ability to record over 33,000 requests in a single second. So imagine how fast Scenic could be. So that actually brings us to the end of the video. Now, keep this thing in mind that every framework has its pros and cons and every developer has different coding styles and preferences. I just hope that you find a framework that is valuable to you and your peers. So take care and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning and keep practicing.